What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we are on video five in our series of the SSI Deep Diving Program. And we really hope this video and this entire series helps prepare you for your final exam. But do not use this video nor any of the videos in this series to go out and make a deep dive. Make sure you're staying safe by seeking out your local SSI Deep Diving Instructor to get properly trained. So with that being said, let's take a deep dive into chapter five of the SSI Deep Diver Program. Now, the first part of this chapter that we're going to look at is reviewing the dive tables. And the dive tables or a set of charts is basically an algorithm that's going to help you determine how much gas or nitrogen you are on gassing at depth. It's going to give you depth limitations and bottom time limitations as well. And your local SSI deep diver instructor is going to review the SSI deep diving tables with you to make sure that you can safely plan not only your initial dive, but also repetitive dives as well. Now the next part of this chapter we're going to talk about is planning with your dive computer. Now the dive computer actually has many more advantages than say over the dive tables. With the dive tables it's basically just a square profile. You go to depth, you stay for a certain amount of time and you come to the surface. With the dive computer though it's going to give you credit as you ascend and it's going to show you how much nitrogen you're actually bleeding off. Now if you're not familiar with your particular dive computer make sure you're asking your local SSI deep diving instructor to go over it with you so that you can learn all the different features. SSI also has the Computer Diver Program. This is a great program to actually show you how computers work and how the algorithms work and what's being displayed on the screen. So check out the SSI Computer Diver Program as well. I think it'd be a great program for you. And it's a classroom only program. There's no diving involved. You just go out and you learn about your dive computer. You're going to learn all the ins and outs and how to operate it when you're underwater as well. But planning with the dive computer is going to be crucial for your safety when planning deep dive and considering that the, your computer may have a different algorithm, say, than the dive tables or even a different algorithm than your buddy's computer, this is a great opportunity during the pre-dive planning stage for you and your buddy to compare notes and compare planning based off what your computer is telling you so that both of you are staying safe when underwater. All right, guys, to round out chapter five, let's talk about keeping this as a recreational limitation. Yes, the SSI Deep Diver Program is still a recreational course. It's only going to allow you to go down to 130 feet. Your open water program got you to 60. Your advanced level got you down to 100. And of course, the SSI Deep Diver Program is going to get you down to 130. Now, you are going to have to stay within recreational limitations as far as bottom time as well. If you're interested in exceeding that bottom time, check out the SSI Decompression Diver Course. This too is still just a recreational course, but it's going to allow you to exceed your no decompression limit for no more than up to say 15 minutes of decompression. Then of course, if you want to exceed farther than that or go deeper than 130, check out the extended range programs such as extended range nitrox, extended range, or even the extended range trimix program as well. This is where you can start going deeper than say recreational limit of 130 feet. All right, guys, that's going to do it for Chapter 5, and that's going to round out our series of the SSI Deep Diver Program. We really hope this video series helps you prepare, say, for your final exam, but please do not use this video nor any of the videos in this series to go out and make a deep dive. Make sure you're staying safe by seeking out your local SSI Deep Diving Instructor for proper training. But guys, if you did like this series, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it. If you got any questions on this video or any of the videos previously, drop me a comment down below, and I'll try to answer your questions as best I can and as quick as I can as well. But until our next video, take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.